Hello there, fellow mycology enthusiast. I hope this video finds you well. Today we're taking a look at my current mushroom growing projects. I'm a beginner, so I'm just chronicling my own journey into this fascinating hobby in the hopes that it entertains you and maybe answers some questions that you might have along the way. As of yesterday, I've got two mushroom supplies grow bags that I've finally put into fruiting conditions. For one of them, I'm using tub tech with a max yield bin. And for the other, I'm gonna try just fruiting right in the bag. Now to preface, I started out with a couple of spore syringes from two different companies. The first grow bag was inoculated with 10 cc's on July 23rd, and the second bag, which is in the max yield bin, was inoculated with six cc's on July 28th. I also used the remaining four cc's in that syringe to inoculate a North Spore grain bag. For reference, I'm filming this on October 6th, so it took a solid minute to get to this point. One interesting thing is that the grow bag that I inoculated with 6 cc's actually colonized faster than the bag I inoculated with 10 cc's five days before it. The mycelium also appeared thicker. Now these are the same variety of mushroom, so it just goes to show that genetics can vary pretty broadly when you're starting with spores. Another thing to note is that the 6 cc bag ended up stalling on me after it was about 90 to 95 percent colonized. There were no visible signs of contamination though, so I went ahead and just put it into fruiting conditions anyway, leaving the bag around the uncolonized substrate and just exposing the mycelium on the top side. Both these bags smell as they should. There's no sweet or sour odor, just earthy like mushrooms. Here's the North Spore grain bag I mentioned earlier. When I first inoculated it, it popped off pretty quickly. When it was about 40% colonized, I did the break and shake and the mycelium grew back pretty rapidly. However, the bag recolonized to, I'd say about 60% and then just completely stalled out on me. There were no visible signs of contam, no slimy grains or anything like that. It just stopped. So at that point I did another break and shake, but as you can see, it didn't help. The mycelium never grew back. The only thing I can think might be the culprit is the filter patch, which seems clogged. So maybe the mycelium wasn't getting enough oxygen, but who knows, but this bag is a goner anyway about it. So here in my monotub, I've laid a liner down, put some perlite in it with distilled water, and then laid a piece of aluminum foil down, set the cake on it. This will hopefully keep the humidity levels where they need to be. And for the other bag, I've just cut two slits at the top, like mushroom supplies and structs. I'm keeping the bag inside a tub to start with, and I'll be billowing the bag a couple times a day. If the humidity inside the bag gets too low, I'll just go ahead and cut the top off so I can mist it with my Flarisol bottle as needed and just paper clip it back. So yeah, hopefully I'll start seeing some pins forming on these guys over the next week or so, fingers crossed. I'll post updates as they come. And that's about it. Outside of these two grow bags being put into fruiting conditions, I've also inoculated another North Spore grain bag with three cc's of spores and another Mushroom Supplies grow bag with seven cc's of spores. I did that on October 2nd, so we'll see how these do as well. I do want to shout out the Rookie Mycologist, 90 Second Mycology, and Philly Golden Teacher, whose content has been extremely helpful to me as I've kicked off these projects. If you're interested in getting started growing mushrooms, I highly recommend their channels. They're full of great knowledge and info, and I've got uh, the links to their channels in the description. All right, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and be well.